I don't know if you knew this about me, but I'm a pretty big horror buff. So when the team over at Fear NFT reached out to me and wanted to know if I wanted to cover some horror games, I looked at their ecosystem and I was like, oh my God, this is fantastic. I talked about it a little bit on a podcast that I do weekly, which is around the metaverse with a bunch of other crypto YouTubers. And I ended up falling in love with this project. So the fact that they take horror games, existing horror games in the conventional gaming, video gaming space and convert them to blockchain play to earn games is fascinating to me. I really and truly believe that NFT games and blockchain games are the future. It's one of the reasons that I pivoted my channel towards this narrative. And I got to tell you, some of what they're working on right here is fantastic. The first game, their flagship game, comes from a game that went viral a little while back on YouTube, actually, which is called Whack Your Undead Neighbor. It was originally Whack It, but they converted it to Whack Your Undead Neighbor and added some play to earn mechanics. And just as a warning, this is going to contain some pretty violent animations, okay? It's not, it's all cartoon blood, so to speak, but I'm gonna show you one or two of the animations, or at least portions of them, just to give you a taste of what the game is like. And as you can see, if I scroll up a little bit and get my face out the way, there's a bunch of different games on the way that we'll talk a little bit about in a little minute. Anyway, let me show you about how the gameplay works and then we'll get into the earning. I'd also like to mention that these guys are doing something completely insane. I'm talking about the biggest NFT ticket drop in blockchain history. Big players of games like Axie Infinity, Ultra, Sandbox, they're going to be getting dropped NFT play to earn tickets to try out the play to earn mode in Whack Your Undead Neighbor. Now, we're partnered with them, so you know you guys are gonna get something too. A hundred of you guys are gonna be selected to get play to earn tickets as well. All you gotta do is leave your Matic address down in the comments section below, and a hundred of you guys are gonna get selected to get play to earn tickets so you can try out the game mode yourself and get all in the ecosystem. Now, let's talk about the game. So all you have to do is click Undead Neighbor, it brings you to the web page. Now you can go to farm tickets here, play game, or view a tutorial for how play to earn works or play to burn as they call it. Let's just click play game for now and you can expand it or keep it small on your desktop. Very, very, very easy to navigate. It doesn't take a lot of resources or anything. And the game is pretty self-explanatory when you start it up. Let's go ahead and click play. And it also gives you the option to connect, connect your wallet, which I'll show you about in just a second too. The game runs on Ethereum or Polygon. So it's very, very cheap on gas fees if you wanna do Polygon type stuff. And it's just a nice little scene. We barbecue and some sausages. We feeding our little puppy. Our boo sitting on the chair, chilling over there. <laughs> putting a little, is that some sauce you putting on there? Look. See, relaxing in the sunshine. I wish I didn't hate my out in my real yard. My yard in real life. I don't like it much. What's going on here? Uh-oh. Hunter Bear. What, what is happening to the neighbor? <laughs> he grew hentai. This is hentai tentacle porn. I lied. No. <laughs> With them... With the minutes he's got, though, it's kind of it's semi. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. Okay, so this is basically how the game starts. Now, you have the ability to kill this undead neighbor, okay? You got to whack him, <laughs> basically. Find all the ways to kill the zombie, and it's a point and click adventure. So if you run over or mouse over something that has the ability to interact with, you will be able to click on it and it executes a death. Now, I happen to know that there's a few different ways. I've unlocked a few of them so far, but I kind of reset my progress so I wouldn't have to, uh, so I can actually show you the animations. So there's a couple things you can do. One, you can click on whatever and have the animation play out. Now he's gonna start biting him. And there's a bunch of different animations that kind of play out. Yeah, he's biting his face. And you end up going through all the way and killing him. Just spit out his nose. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna skip it. Again, I this is this is tame for me. I just don't want anybody watching this that's thinking about an investment product to be grossed. 
<laughs> All right, so if you play in any kind of horror games, I don't think it should bother you either, but YouTube's also kind of crazy about stuff like that, so we're just gonna play it carefully here. So, you can also combine different things. So, let's click on this, for instance. It's not, it's gonna tell me, what? Nothing. Okay, so you kind of have to combine stuff. Now, if you click on this ten, the, you click on the baseball, it says it's a combo and it requires something else at the bottom right corner of the screen. So what could we combine this with? Possibly a bat? And when you get the combination right, the execution goes through. She's gonna throw the baseball to him. Well, she's gonna throw the bat to him, then throw the baseball. <laughs> And he's just gonna drive it through. <laughs> so there's a bunch of different cool animations that you can get for death and keep unlocking them. When you get four done though, it unlocks your play to earn mode, play to burn, and then you can start really messing with the earn mechanics. So there's also some hidden stuff that kind of tells you about Patrick's grandma still lives with him. What a loser. <laughs> and then if you try to click on this, it says it's probably locked for a reason. There's another combo here that you can use for the wonder grow and the tree. And we're just gonna go ahead and skip through this. <laughs> but the tree comes alive and does some funny stuff. And then there's a log we can uh, click on and the tree, now that the tree's alive, it's gonna grab the log and kind of do the murder and stuff. So you have to look around the map for the different things that you can do. But now that we have four out of 10, we can always unlock the play to earn mode. So let's talk about the play to earn. Now, if you've never used any play to earn mechanics, you're gonna need a cryptocurrency wallet, which handles the Matic blockchain. I recommend MetaMask. I'm gonna have some links in the description, but there's also tutorials to get you started. Just always make sure you're using the official websites to get any of these tools, because there's a lot of scams in blockchain, okay? So, once you have that set up, you can connect your wallet to the game here. You go ahead and click. It's going to load up. So once you have the game open, you hit connect your wallet. Then what's gonna happen is MetaMask is gonna pop up if you have this installed. And then you're gonna hit connect and you're gonna hit sign and the progress bar is gonna go forward and it'll say play to earn unlocked after the four kills. So that's when you do your four kills and get started. All right, so we've got our four kills and as soon as you get the fourth kill, you see play to earn pop up. You go ahead and click play to earn. It'll take you to the next screen and you can refresh here to make sure that the game syncs up with your progress hit Devil's Chest, and then you can click Rat Around or Clucking Hill. I'm gonna click Rat Around here and it's gonna take you to it. It wants to make sure that you connect your wallet. You get click Connect, you sign. All right, so once your wallet's connected, you can click Approve, Play to Burn. It'll prompt you to sign. You go ahead and confirm. It takes a little bit of Matic. So I had a little error, but after I refresh and connect it again, it says Burn Ticket. So you got plus two attempts. You go ahead and click Burn Your Ticket. Then you hit confirm, takes another little bit of Matic for the gas fees, and it says ticket NFT burned. Now, it shows that it reflects it. You have four tickets left, but now your attempts remaining is two. All right, so now that we have our wallet connected and our four kills, we also have our NFT ticket burned. Rat around will be unlocked. We'll click Rat Around and it's gonna take you into the game. Now, <laughs> it says Rat Around, let's go play. Would you like to proceed? Continuing owners will deduct an attempt from your wallet. Now, it's going to show you what you have to do a little bit. We got 20 rats that we have to find and they're all over the place and you're gonna wanna click them. Now, this is, it's a little bit hard. I got three of them so far, okay? Let's see if there's another one. So when you, when you mouse around to the place that they're hiding at, it's actually gonna give you the ability to click on them. This is harder than it looks too. <laughs> okay, this guy's gonna come off. These guys are gonna come out from the chair. Come on, we're running out of time. It doesn't, you don't have ammunition or anything, so you can click as fast as you want to when you get around to them. We got a seconds running down now. Let's see, oh, there's one in the bushes and they're on top of the house. And it says I got 13 out of 20 return home. So as you can see, this is not the easiest game in the world. I'm gonna try a few more times. So the closest I got was 19. I, tr I tried, I used all my tickets, man, all my attempts. But the next game is killing a little bit of chickens, which is kind of cool. It's like a tower defense 
type game. There's some waves of chickens that you got to kill and you got to do headshots and stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty fun. Anyway, they're going to have some kill NFTs that are going to be available for Wackit. So like the barbecue pit, for instance, you'll be able to use that as one of the kills. And it says here, kill NFTs. Holders of these NFTs will be able to access unique kills in the game no one else gets to see. Later, they will be used to get the chance to win other rare NFTs that are introduced via the kills that no gamer will have the chance to win. Plus, you'll be entitled to play to win access in the game. So it's sort of like staking rewards and stuff that's coming. But to get fear, to get more attempts, if you like me and you need more attempts, you can get it on Uniswap, but that's an ERC-20. You could do it if you have Ethereum that you want to spend. But QuickSwap is a good way if you have Matic because of the gas fees. And naturally, you can buy it on a fiat ramp, which is essentially just doing it by credit card. So you can earn tokens in a bunch of different ways as well. If you go to coin here, you got fear staking or as well as LP staking, which is like liquidity staking, balancing fear coins with another coin in order to create liquidity. And you've got your holder benefits here that tells you a little bit about all of the things that are coming on the roadmap. And of course, the ecosystem that's going to tell you all about what they're doing and some of the games that they're going to have. Araya is, or Araya, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it is a game that I had been wanting to play even before the whole play to earn mechanics things. And I'm really, really excited to be able to do that. It's a scary game. It's one of these door simulators or door opening simulators with a bunch of jump scares, which is some of my favorite type of horror games. I've played some of them before, like Layers of Fear before, and they were really, really good and they've got some other games along the way too like madcock whack the demon and a ton more that are planned for the future so guys if y'all liked this video if you like this ecosystem jump into fear the links are going to be in the description of the video as well as my discord if you guys like talking play to earn blockchain and nfts thanks again so much for watching as always this is Odin signing off and we'll see you next time